Okay, we're gonna talk about the new Fern Ridge Bypass. And there's two options for it. You can go down over the rocks here. This is more of the harder line as you go down around that way. Or you can come down past the tree with the blue arrow on it. And we are heading currently west to east. And then this is the other line. It goes down through here and around the corner and back out in the normal trail. And what it actually bypasses is these two trees. So what happens with these two trees? Sure. What happens with these two, it's the rock that Chip is walking over to, the one right there. Basically, if you have your tire right where his feet are, you lean into the tree on the left. If you're too far to the right to avoid this tree, you hit that tree. So one way or another, you hit a tree. And this is really bad, especially with gladiators and some of the bigger, wider vehicles. They're always bouncing off the tree and damaging the vehicles. So we put in a challenging bypass. So it's not that you're worried about bouncing off a tree. You have to worry about the technical driving aspect of it. So it makes it back into a driver's trail. You're not worried about damaging your vehicle just because there's two trees at the wrong spot. So we're standing down at the hill. Here's the two trees that he was just talking about. Kyle's gonna go through the two trees. So I'm standing down here. And notice how big these rocks are. He's on 35s and these, these rocks are pretty friggin' beefy. You're good. All right, so now we're gonna go over this rock. It's being used today. Just when you think you're going slow, slam! I will be taking the bypass. All right. So that's the one line here. That's the, the harder line is here. The easier line's gonna be here. And then I would hug the trees on the passenger side. Basically, it'll avoid that little uh, the tombstone right there that'll catch your death. So put your driver's tire right on this point and over on that rock. Keep it cut hard. Yep. That's a good line. Just crawl it. Good line, keep it cut hard. Yep, just keep it cut hard. Okay, now turn it back up a little bit.
Keep going. Keep going. Okay, now hard passenger and forward. Keep. From what Kyle was saying, now everybody tends to take this bypass and we're not gonna take the bypass. We're gonna take the original way a little bit more of a challenge. I'm gonna make sure we earn this badge today. Oof. This little ledge we just slid down. So glad I did not end up getting aluminum skid plates. Thank you, Neil Simpson, for talking me out of that mistake. I got the moto built steel ones. Because those aluminum ones would have been thrashed by now easily. This ought to be interesting. Tight turn. Climb over a very large rock face. See if we can make it. Oof. My rears? Uh, I can. No, both rear tires are on the ground. Both front tires are off the ground. I can try my locker in the rear if you think it'll help. You can try it. Yeah. You said nothing in the front's touching? No, no. Both tires are six inches off the ground. Lock the rear again? It still is. Okay, this tire wasn't turning. Okay. Let me unlock it and relock it. Oh, probably because I had the front locker on because I know how to read. Okay, try that now. <laughs> oh, may not be a smart man. Oh, looky there. Okay, now hold, 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 hold. Don't go too far. Okay, your flat belly or flat rock. But hold on, let me give you a step. Go a little driver if you can. Oh, there it went. Yep, keep a driver. Yep, see if it'll bite. If it slides a few more inches, keep a driver if you need to. Little drift. Okay, a little more, a little more. Straight forward. Okay, hold. Now, hard passenger. Okay. 
<laughs> Good job. Nice job. Nice job. Oh, watch out for that one. Hold on. Hold on. Let me make sure you just hit your steering. That sounded expensive. Today we learned that the rear locker doesn't work when you turn the front locker on and not the rear locker. Well, for me, in the experience I have off-roading, which again, isn't a whole lot, this Fern Ridge Trail is definitely challenging. In a good way, but it's definitely challenging. If you decide to take it on, you will definitely feel you earned your badge by the time it's all done. Okay, that was the second section. This is now the third section. So we got a total of four sections on this trail. And as you just heard, we're starting section three now. Challenging like the first section was, but it's. You cut off at the end, you said it's something about like the first one, but it's what? It's shorter. Gotcha. So now we are on section four of Fern Ridge Badge of Honor Trail. Highly recommend it if you're so inclined. It is a long trail. Definitely has its challenging spots, and it's, you know, spots like this where you're just kind of rolling along. Fortunately, we have not come across anybody coming the other way yet. That would be very interesting to see how that would go. But so far, so good. Looks like there's a group of jeeps in here ahead of us. And it looks like I spoke too soon. Fortunately, they're going the way, the way that we are going. I'll let you catch up so you can see my line. Big rock in the 
passenger side. Now I got to get the second tire. For once, the long wheelbase came in handy. Nice job. And fill that part. <laughs> Crested the hill, came down, and there was a rock to greet me. I'm gonna zoom you back out because all you're looking at is nothing. That's a little better. The trickiest part here is this rock my driver's rear tire is on. So you have to drive over this rock. Don't try to straddle it. Make sure you get a tire on it. see Austin Powers. I'm just going to walk ahead and tell these guys we're not in a hurry. I know exactly where they're hung up. I guess they do a 85 point turn in that little cart in the hallway. That's what it's like driving a gladiator through AOA. <laughs> Looks like we got a line of jeeps here. We'll be waiting a little while. So. After that passenger tire climbs like that, if it slides, then you get in trouble. It has to climb. Thank you. amazing you watch somebody take a line and you go you think in your mind how that line looked and you think you're putting your tire where you should and sometimes it just works out where you don't that's why it helps to have a guide somewhere a spotter because what it looks like from watching somebody what it looks like when you're actually doing it a couple tight trees down through here again watch all four corners we're almost out okay it just it's totally different which i'm sure this isn't news to anybody but it's just fascinating to me oh yeah just all kinds of chewed up trees over here Side. Watch my rear driver fender and my front passenger fender at the same time. <laughs>
push me off. Straight me back up. There we go. Hello. Eesh. Skids than fenders or mirrors or doors. There we go. All right. Okay. Little ledge here. Badge. Awesome. Thank you so much for all your spotting. No problem. Good job. So there you go. That was Fern Ridge. Pretty excited. More to come.